In this lesson, we're going to understand how to graph exponentials. So what basically is an exponential function? So whenever you get to see a function in this form, okay, so this function is said to be an exponential. Of course, in this case, where a is greater than zero. Okay, so now let's say you have y is equal to 2 to the power x. So how basically do you get to sketch such a function? How do you graph it on the x or y plane? That is what we're going to study. So with other different forms of exponentials that we have to understand, how do you get to sketch when it's negative? How do you get to sketch it when the power is negative? How do you get to sketch it when it has got an addition of a constant or maybe a subtraction? How do you get to do that? So we're going to understand how to go about it, including the cases where you have the exponential being shown like that. How do you get to sketch it? Okay, so let's start. We'll start with the most basic form of exponential function. So let's say that our y is basically equal to 2 to the power x. So my advice is come up with a table of values to help you sketch it. So let's say our x and our y. So let's try to understand the behavior of um, these exponentials. Okay. So it's very important to think of a point because we understand that whenever you have um, a number raised to the power 0, we know it's always going to be that number. So that is always going to be the, the first value of x. Try x is equal to 0. So the moment you do that, you expect that your value of y is always going to be equal to a 1. Okay, because any number raised to power z 0 is basically a 1. So we have our first value there. Then the other value that you can work with is um, 1. So you can also try out x is equal to 1 because basically we know when you raise anything to the power of 1, nothing changes about it. Okay, so now what we have is, uh, is a 2 in this case. So basically these points are enough for us to sketch. But it's very important to understand the shape of an exponential function. So what you need to know is that the x-axis is basically the asymptote to that graph, meaning that it doesn't cut the x-axis. So the x-axis is the horizontal asymptote. Okay, so I will show using green there, meaning that it can't cut that line. So, we'll say that 0, comma, we have a 1 there. Okay, so basically this is going to be the shape of this graph. So it's supposed to cut at 1 there. Okay. So, that's how it's supposed to be. And it's supposed to be going up that way. Okay. So that is the way you get to sketch an exponential function. So, it's supposed to cut at that graph at y is equal to 1. Okay, so let me show that more clearly. So basically what we are saying is, the shape is this. So you have, you, you have it coming from that side. Then it, sh it should not cut. So just show that, and it's going up. So at that point where it's cutting, in this case we are saying it's basically what? It's basically a 1. Okay. Then the, the other point that we came up with, we said when x is basically equal to a 1, our y is what? So when x is equal to 1, we said our y is basically going to be 2. So somewhere there. So that is the way you sketch that graph. So now, how is it different when we change the sign? Let's say we consider it to be a negative. So y is equal to negative 2 to the power x. How is it different? So the way we're going to view it is, if you put a power 0, Again, if you put the power 0 where there is x there, what are we going to have? So what we're going to have is, remember we said anything with the power 0 is basically a 1. So it's basically going to be a negative, then there's a 1 inside the brackets. So what you're going to have is a negative 1. So here you have a negative 1. Then um, the other value that we tried, we're supposed to try in is what? Is 1. So if you put a 1, it will still remain a negative 2. So how is it different? So it's going to be 0 
So where we have a zero there, it's going to become what? It's going to become a negative one as our point. Then uh, where we have um, where we get to plug in one, we're getting a negative two. So where there's a one there, it's negative two straight down there. So it's one comma one comma negative two. Then it's zero comma negative one. So this is the way it's coming out. So basically from there we're able to tell that this graph is going to be going down this way. So the x-axis will still remain to be what? The asymptotes. So let me draw it better off than I've shown it. It's supposed to be caved at that point. Okay. So it will not cut the x-axis. So it's kind of like refracted across the, the x-axis. So this is the way it is. So the behavior is different, meaning that as you get to increase the values of x there, the, the values are going to be more negative along the y. So that's why it's going downwards, unlike the other one. So that is how it differs in terms of uh, the signs there. So now, let's try to add in uh, constants. We see the way how different it's going to behave. OK. So now, let's say we have y is equal to 2x. Then let me add maybe a 2 there. How different is it going to behave? How different is it going to be? OK, so we have um, our graph there. OK, so we can try to plug in the values. So we'll, stay, we'll say our table of values of x and y. So basically, we are trying to work with something that is going to make our work easier without even a calculator. So remember we said if you put in a 0 there, so if you plug in a 0 at that point, so you are going to have 2 to the power 0 plus 2. So any number is the power 0 is 1. So basically we have a 1 plus 2, which is a 3 there. Then we can plug in another value of uh, x, which is uh, a 1, which doesn't change the base. So when you plug in a 1, 2 to the power 1 is basically a 2 plus a 2. So we have a 4. So basically what did we say? We say the x-axis is asymptote. So expect that this graph, how is it coming out? It shouldn't cut the x-axis. But remember, what we said in initially, we say that it was cutting 0, 0,1. But in this case, where is it going to cut? Because in that case, what was happening is after plugging 0 into, because what we had is y to the power 2x. So after plugging in a 0 there, we were getting what? We were getting a 1. But in this case, if we plug in a 0, we are getting what? If you plug in a 0, we are getting a 3 there. Okay, so it's going to cut at 3. So let that one stand there. So it's going to cut at 3. So then the asymptote becomes this part. That's what you should know. Very important. The asymptote becomes what you've added. So that will be our asymptote. Meaning that this graph is going to come out this way. It's going to be coming from above. Then you need to cut 3. Then you shouldn't cut y is equal to 2. So that is how a constant added to that graph makes it different. So that is the way you sketch it. So that is the way to go about it. So now, how does it get to be different um, if we add a negative? So as you might guess, if we say it later y be equal to 2 to the power x, then minus 2, this would mean that your horizontal asymptote would be a negative 2 down there. Okay, a negative 2. So what happens if you get to plug in? So you say, let's come up with a table of values. Let's say, let's try out when you, what happens when x is equal to a 0. So if you plug in a 0 there, it will be a 1. So if you plug in 2 to the power 0 minus 2, you are going to have a 1 minus 2, which is going to be a negative 1. Then if you plug in a 1, it will be 2 minus 2, which is going to be a 0. Okay, so how do you get to sketch that? So what we have is we have x 0 comma negative 1. So 0 comma negative 1 is somewhere there. So it's going to cut at that point. Then um, 1, if you plug in a, a 1, you're getting a 0. So at the point where it's 1, it's basically at that point, cutting the x-axis at that point, going up. Okay. So what are we trying to say? So what we're trying to say is this time around the simple to be y is equal to negative 2. So this graph would be like this. It will not cut that line. 
so it will continue going up like that so the point that we've learned here is what we are saying is whenever you have something being added to the right that becomes the asymptotes okay so now that we've understand we've understood how to sketch it when the when the base is negative when the power is positive let's try to look at the ones where you basically have um, a negative okay so now let's say that uh, basically our y is equal to negative 2 to the power x okay so how is this one different from what you've said so from what you've said this one we've already sketched it by the way so let's look at the different case where maybe it is raised to the power negative x so let's start with this basic part like we've already talked about this one and what you've said is when sketching that one how is it coming out so we said it's coming out this way okay so it's coming out this way okay that's the way it is going up there uh, so it's cutting at uh, that one there that's what you've said so let's say that is y is equal to, to the power x so now what happens if you say sketch y is equal to to the power negative x how is it different so we can come up with a table of values again to help us so let's say that our x is equal to zero then our x is equal also equal to one because these are the values that we are going to simplify our work so what we're going to have is for our y if you plug in a zero there two to the power zero is what is going to be a one because what you have is y two so you say negative zero so it should just be a one there what happens if you plug in a one so if you plug in a one what you're going to have is to the power negative one which is basically the same as one over two so we basically understand that that is basically what 0 0.5 okay so we have a 0 0.5 uh. so how are we going to sketch it so what we have is uh, x 0 comma 1 so at that point it's 0 comma 1 as we've seen it so it's going to cut at that point then now uh, 1 is giving us 0 0.5 so 1 comma 0 0.5 somewhere there so we're clearly able to see that this one is just going to be a refraction across the y-axis so it's going to be like that the x-axis will be the asymptotes the horizontal asymptotes just like that so one thing to note is for exponentials, the way it works is that no matter what you're going to have, the x-axis is going to be what? The horizontal asymptote. So when it is a negative there, what we are saying is it basically comes out this way. That's how we've said it. So now, equally the same one that we've come up with a negative power, if we had said that, let's say, we come up with a minus 2 there. So the minus 2 would become the asymptote so it would be like this so a minus two somewhere there that would become the horizontal asymptote and it would basically cut at negative one and it would come out like this okay so that is what it works so working out with um, values like zero and one would help you be able to sketch an exponential function easily without even wasting time so now let's say in a case where you've been given what you need to understand is basically the shape of um, y is equal to y is equal to e to the power x how do you get to sketch it as well so what you need to understand is basically going to be the same case that we have here okay so it's going to be moving the same way so the sketch is this way so it gets to cut the y-axis at one okay that's the way it works so if you add a two there it's going to cut at at what at three so you add the one plus the two that's the way it works so what we're trying to say is whatever value gets to add there that will be the horizontal asymptotes okay and that's how they get to affect the sketching of uh, these graphs so when x is negative when the power is negative there uh, how is it different so it's going to be this way then. 
Okay. That is y is equal to e to the power negative x. Okay. So e is just a number that is about 2.7 something. Okay. So that is the way you get to sketch it. And when you say y is equal to negative e to the power x, this one comes out like this. Okay. So that is what you have to understand about sketching of exponentials. I just hope that this video has helped you on how to go about the sketching of exponentials and you will not face any challenges when you are exposed to such questions. Thank you very much for watching.